Hi guys, my name is Raziel Kenny and I'm back with another toy review and today I'm going to review, uh, well, a sweep. Because originally, I back in August I had ordered a Scourge from Entertainment Earth after a, an advice from Rodimus Primal who mentioned to me that it was still available. So I ordered the figure and three days ago um, when I checked on my order it wasn't there and I've been checking regularly to make sure if there was any progress and there was never any progress and eventually it just wasn't there and apparently they sent me an email saying that the product was discontinued which I kind of expected I was afraid that I was gonna miss out on Scourge or a sweep so I went online and found a online store in the Ottawa area uh, in Canada called DJC Collectibles I had seen the advertisement for that store a couple times so I decided to go for it sent an email to the company and I asked if I could pick it up because it was in my area instead of paying for shipping and said yeah no problem great price and I'm saving on shipping I'm very happy that I found uh, this uh, this story the person who runs it is Derek Criticott a uh, very nice fellow that I've met and uh, he runs that all by himself and it's a great great store um, at retail prices and uh, it's uh, quite amazing I'm actually very happy I found this store now about the figure yep it's already open because I couldn't wait and my four years old couldn't wait either they actually have the hands reversed on the package but because uh, they're just re reusing the scourge uh, image uh, Transformers uh, the movie 1986 uh, great great box that's enough for the box Let's move on to the figure. Scourge, the tracker, and his huntsman, the sweeps. But just before we take a look at the figure, this backdrop is amazing. And you can totally see I'm using a ring light. But kickback and uh, shrapnel being reformatted into sweeps. And I'm guessing this should be technically Scourge in the middle, but this is a sweep. But Eh, repaints. Um, but I do love this uh, backdrop. Taking a look at the accessories, this blast effect is kind of weird. It's bent. It doesn't it doesn't really look like a blast, but I don't really mind. Uh, the this hole is just I don't know not tight enough, and if you put it on the gun. Kind of, well, actually, it's holding better now. Uh, but uh, if you put it on the head, like the instruction shows, uh, when he's in vehicle mode, uh, it kind of stretches it out, and then after that, it just falls from the gun. The gun is superbly detailed. The the the, the molding is great, completely lacking in paint. Unique. It's not a repaint of any gun I've seen so far. I really like this. The instruction, I know some of you like when we take a look at those, so... There you go. And now the figure itself is stunning. Look at that face sculpt. I think I'm actually more happy that I got a sweep rather than a scourge. And because I think I prefer this stone. If they would have used a different expression on him, then you could tell that this is not scourge. But you can't really, from afar, unless you pay close attention to the ends. I know they're reversed. Let me show you why I think those are perfect hands for this figure. The fact that he's able to hold his gun like this, holding a hunting rifle, I think that's a really nice touch. Like, I wish he could actually go in the hole, but just like that, it's like it's not a perfect fit, this is one of the best poses for a gun I've seen in this, well, in the Generations line or Studio Series 86, which is really Generation, we know it. So I think this is a, a, an amazing figure. And if you look at the details, you know, some molding details everywhere, huge backpack. I wish they would have found a way to kind of fold it a little better. Um, but that's going to be our French word of the day, secado, meaning backpack but it's not a deal breaker because from the front you can actually angle that a little more if you want a more I don't know wide wingspan uh, you can actually push it all the way back if you want it less kibbly 
Uh, I think, honestly, I think this is one of the best figures from the Studio Series 86. I would say, after the Dinobots, this is my favorite. And now for some size comparison, here he is with former self, Thundercracker, and they're the same size, so scaling wise, perfect. Partner in crime, Kingdom Cyclonus, which is the best figure of the Kingdom line, and Kingdom Galvatron, which I think, again, scaling is perfect. And with my custom Raziel Kane figure, by input, reviews and customs. And how cool is it to be able to take this picture? I think these three together look amazing. And now looking at articulation, the head is it looks like the it, it looks like it is on a ball joint, but maybe not. So you can't do a 360. This piece here, because of transformation, does a 360. The arms could do a 360 if it wasn't for all that cable. Like there you go. The you have a elbow rotation, elbow bend. The hand will rotate. Eh, 360. Ah, uh, well, yeah. It's a bit in the way with the uh, the thumb, like the here because of cable. Leg in the back, knee bend, no knee rotation. Yeah, but a little tie rotation, very subtle. Uh, slight toe tail, uh, a bit of attitude. Forgot to mention that. No toe tilt. You have an ankle rocker, sorry. And then because of transformation, you can move the toes and the heel, but that's about it. And oh. 360, we like that. No ab crunch. And the cable, well, it just gets in the way when you're trying to move things. And now for transformation, you're gonna plug the feet together like this. And you're gonna take the arm, extend it to the bottom. There's that hole here, it takes here. You have to make sure that the tie is perfectly aligned then you plug it like this you're gonna do the same thing on the other side like this and then you're gonna hold the heels hold the toe so that it looks like this and there you go as you can tell He's a cousin of RC and Lifeline and Alito. But from this angle, it's amazing. Seriously, I I thought it was gonna be a little thinner, to be honest, because he is quite large. But I don't mind. This is a fantastic looking scourge. Sweep. Thundercracker. Uh, yeah, whatever. He looks awesome. I mean uh, maybe you could put some blast effect here. Yeah, you can if you want to have a rocket uh, or an exhaust or whatever. But this looks good. A little bit of gapage on mine here. The head, either it doesn't peg in properly in the cover or, you know, like there's a little gap, but I don't mind. Uh, but now we're going to show you the second alt mode. It's, uh, it's quite interesting. So this is the secondary alt mode, which I... I don't think it's that worth it, honestly, because when basically what you're doing is elevating this platform here that usually comes flush with these parts here and here, uh, you're raising it and then you're pegging it inside the, the thrusters. And I, I don't know, it's just why? Because if you leave it in the regular mode, and you just flip this open like this, you see the face. So I don't know, you're elevating it a little bit. Maybe it's more cartoon accurate. I don't recall if the whole thing came up in the cartoon. I doubt it. I think probably just the head lifted up. Uh, you can put the blast effect here, but then it doesn't look that great. But yeah, um, it's a possibility. Just to show you what I mean, if you leave the platform flush with the thrusters, 
while the these parts here where the thruster are sitting and you just flip this up you see the face and I think that looks I don't know smoother maybe it's not cartoon accurate I don't recall I think this looks better anyway let's close this and have some fun with some comparison here he is with former self Thundercracker which I still think the Earthrise Jet are one of the greatest mold in this whole line second in command Cyclonus and one thing I did notice while I was preparing for this comparison is that Cyclonus actually does come with landing gears while Scourge doesn't unless you count flappy wings as landing gear and Decepticon leader Kingdom Galvatron so in the end this is a fantastic figure fantastic mold quite unique shell former but I'm really happy I was able to find this. Again, I found this figure at DJC Collectibles, uh, who not only does Transformers, but a lot of actual collectibles. I hope you've enjoyed this review of Transformers Studio Series 86 Sweep. I keep saying Scourge, but Sweep. Anyway, this guy. You think it's awesome? I think it's the best mold of this character that we ever had, and I don't think we're gonna get any better, unless you go with maybe Masterpiece, which I don't collect for now. So if you did enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, share it, actually does really help. Leave me a comment, I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!